So, Luke, uh, two undefeated Longridge Town tonight. Uh, how have we lost that one? <laughs> no idea. You know, I don't think we'll ever play as well all season and lose a game. Uh, luckily, <laughs> that's the end of it. We don't need to. Uh, we've done what we set out to do, haven't we? You know, at the end of the day, we've come here tonight hoping for a win. We've played well. It's, it's, it's not come off for us. We've played well. We deserved a lot more than what we got, and it's probably the story of our season after after ten games. To be fair, uh, we've dropped so many points from that positions all season long, and they're the they're the finer things in the squad and in the club that we have to sort out to get right for next season if we want to be up the top end of the table rather than the bottom end. That first half creating so many chances, just couldn't take one in there. Their one chance falls into the back of the net for them. I mean. You you come in one nil down and you you got no idea why. You know, obviously it comes down to better finishing and we've got to take our chances. But at the end of the day, look, listen, we've had eight or nine chances, they've had one and we're one nil down. And, you know, like I said, it has been it has happened like that a little bit for us this season. We've not took the chances when we needed to and we've conceded far too many goals. So something we've got to work on going into next season. But if that performance is the foundation for next season, I'll take it every day of the week. And that red card for Regan completely changes the game, do you feel? Yeah. If I'm honest, I think it's a red. Um, the ball's gone a different direction at the end, which has put a little bit of doubt in it. But, you know, I think he's just, he's felt like he's had to make the tackle and he has done. He's, the lad's moved and he's slightly got it wrong, I think. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll take it on the chin and we'll accept that one going forward. But, again, I thought we were stronger with 10 men, if I'm honest. Uh, still created chances, still had the best chances in the games. Obviously, we scored. Um, and, you know, we, we, we do enough for me. You know, I, I, think, I think we've done well. Uh, on the whole tonight, but like I say, for the season as a whole, <laughs> definitely it's a positive one for the football club. As we know, myself and you, and you know the rest of us behind the scenes, we all know how tough it is, and uh, you know we, we've got to pull together in these situations. And this is this is how we have done this season, and we've managed to stay. After ten games, nobody gave us a prayer. Our own fans, our own staff. You know, and it was it was difficult for us, and you know we had to dig in as a group, and you know, it was testament to the players that've been here all season who dug in from that ten games, and obviously testament to the boys that we brought in during the season. I mean, to be able to bring in Dino during the season is unbelievable signing for this football club, and you know he's been worth his weight in goals, you know, which is the most important thing. You got Hughesy who stepped up this season, got himself seventeen goals. Cliffy was excellent first half of the season. There's the makings of an excellent squad here, but. They're young, they're inexperienced, they're not streetwise enough, and we've got to work on all of those things to, you know, bring together what's a what's a positive group and a positive team. But I'd just like to thank all of the fans, every single one of them who's come and watched us at all, who've supported us, and you know we enjoy the criticism from them at times because it, it gives us things that maybe we haven't seen, and also gives us something to try and prove wrong each week. And there's also many, many fans here that work so hard to come to every single game and support the lads through thick and thin, win, lose or draw. And I can only say thank you for that, for the support that I get, and also for you know the, every single player and, and all of my staff as well. You know, obviously end of the season now, so just off the pitch, obviously yourself, Magsy, all the committee, everybody who's brought something to the table for the club has been absolutely fantastic. And you know, like I said, if we can build a foundation of this football club, we can do things. But you know, we've been on the brink of going bust this season. It's been difficult to take, but we've got through it, and now we need to hope that we can survive over the summer and push on and still have a football club to fight for. Uh, you know, I for one will be here fighting to do that from the first day of next season and hopefully that's where we can push forward.